Welcome to Chapter 6, Lesson 10, Quotients with Zeros. In division, a quotient will sometimes contain zeros. The Ramos family is going on a vacation to the behind-the-scenes tour of a wildlife reserve park. How much will it cost for each family member to go on the tour? The okay, number of people is 3, and the total cost is 327. So, you need to find each. So that's a good clue that we're doing division. Okay, so they've set the problem up for us here. And we're gonna follow the steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Okay, so multiply, subtract, compare, bring down. Okay, so three divided by three is one. So one times three is three. Three minus three is zero. Okay, now we bring down the two. Okay, now, 2 is less than 3. Okay, so 3 is not going to fit into this even one time. So we have to multiply by 0. And this is what this lesson's all about. If you multiply 0 times 3, you're going to get 0. Okay, but we can't just not have the 0 there or else you'll be tempted to put this number in the tens place. So we have to keep the zero there as a placeholder. Okay, two minus zero, two. Bring down the seven. Three, 27 divided by three, nine. Nine times three is 27. And 27 minus 27 is zero. So 327 divided by 3 is 109. Okay, if you didn't put the 0 there, you would have been tempted to write 19, but that would not have been correct. So it will cost each family member $109. The Kincaid family is going on vacation. They have to drive 415 miles to get to and from Dolphin Cove. How far is it to Dolphin Cove? Ooh, okay, now here I see this great big dividend, but I'm missing a divisor. Hmm. Okay, well, it takes this to get to and from. Okay, so that means going there and back. And we wanna know just how far it is to Dolphin Cove. So that means we're gonna have to have a divisor of two. Okay, so we'll just start. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. Bring down the 1. Now we divide again. 2, 1 divided by 2, ooh, can't do it. Okay, because 1, if we put a 1 here, 1 times 2 would be 2, and you can't subtract 1 minus 2. So we need a 0. 0 minus 2, 0. Subtract, now bring down the 15. How many times can two go into 15? Seven, without busting, because if you do eight there, it goes up to 16. Seven times two is 14. 15 minus 14 is one, so we have a remainder of one. A remainder of one tells you that the quotient is just over 207. Okay, so how far is it? It's just a little bit more than 207 miles. So the distance to Dolphin Cove is a little more than 207 miles. Use multiplication to check and division problems. To check a division problem. Okay, so remember the divisor and the answer was 207 remainder one. So we have 207 here. Okay, so 207 times 2 Okay, so it's 414 and plus or 1 equals 415. So we've done this correctly. Okay. So building on essential question, why do I sometimes have to use zero in the quotient? Sometimes a zero is in the quotient, 
because the original divisor and quotient will be multiplied to find the dividend. A zero needs, is needed, so the quotient will have the correct place value. Does that make sense? So remember that this number will say it's a three, and this number will say it's, are gonna be multiplied to get this inside number. Okay, so you have to keep the zero here so that the place value stays the same. All right, let's see. In honor of uh, our C theme of this problem, I'm gonna draw one of my favorite sea creatures, which is the narwhal. You know what a narwhal is? It's like a whale, but it has this cool uh, horn, kind of like a unicorn on it. and they are used to fight other narwhals with and defend them from other creatures. Okay, see you in class.